Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, I hope you are all doing well. Angel Di Maria, this is the topic of the video, why? Because everyone is speaking about Angel since yesterday when he was linked more and more to Juventus. Of course, the Juventini are divided and split as always. You have the ones that are saying, no, absolutely not, because he's a Finnish player. And then you have the other ones that are saying, yes, sign him at all costs. So in that video, I wanted to go into detail to understand if yes or no, it's worth to sign Angel. Di Maria. The same question that Juventus are asking, because why? There was an option for Paris Saint-Germain to extend him for one more year, but they never proposed Angel Di Maria to extend it. So he's a free agent. He will be there for zero euro and he has been proposed by his agent to Juventus. Juventus is considering a lot of things, like Romeo Agresti saying they are looking at his physical condition at this player demand for the salary, but also his agent. That's what we will do in that video. Of course, if you have a bit more time, at the end of the video will speak about a lot of rush news like Bernardeschi, like Raum, the left back of Hoffenheim that is linked to Juve, Bremer, Rudiger will speak about all these kind of things if you have a bit more time after liking the video, after subscribing and after the intro. Of course, today there is no Juventus, tomorrow there is not Juventus, but today there is Inter-Roma, and that's what all the Italian papers are speaking about, a game that can be really important for Juventus, especially if we win versus Sassuolo on Monday. And that's why I didn't want to go to the usual video with the sport papers, but speaking about a hot topic, that is Angel Di Maria. The first thing that we start with as supporters, I'm speaking about myself, when I hear a new name linked to Juve, it's emotions. Instead of thinking logically, I go with emotion and when I heard Angel Di Maria my heart stopped instead of going and beating faster like the boom 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 it stops for a minute and I was asking myself no no why why Di Maria what will he bring to Juventus more than what we have today that was my initial thought so I was a no sayer and then before tweeting or speaking about Angel Di Maria on the channel I started to think logically so instead of using my heart I started thinking with my brain and that's what I wanted to do and how I explained also and structured that video so the reason why a first no was he's probably too old he's already 34 years he's born on the 14th of February uh, San Valentino so maybe there is a reason also extra football why I should love him because if a player is born on the 14th of February uh, then we have to love him. It is what it is. So let's start speaking about Angel Di Maria and about the fact that Juventus started with a project that was called rejuvenating the team. So rejuvenating the team, that means that Juventus in a total has to be younger and younger and younger. When we started speaking these words two years ago with Andrea Agnelli after the elimination versus uh, Lyon with uh, Sarri, remember that post game. Since then, in two years, we already um, rejuvenated the team with two years average so we are going towards that thing of course adding Di Maria could be a potential problem in terms of age but if you are lo looking logically in terms of team you are losing Giorgio Chiellini of 37 and Paolo Di Bala of 28 adding them up it's 65 years old dividing by two it's an average of 32.5 if on top of that you are replacing them with Padia Chile from Monaco, who is 21, and Di Maria from Paris Saint-Germain, who is 34, you arrive at a 5, 55 years old. Dividing by 2, it's 27.5. So you are saving 5 years, uh, 2 players out, 2 players in. So that means that in total you are rejuvenating the team. So on that one, we can say that the mission, the journey of Juventus to continue rejuvenating the team is a success. So let's put that aside. Of course, it's a player that you will not be able to give a 5 years contract because that will be too much. Maybe a 2 plus one or a maximum of three years contract for Di Maria. We don't know the details at the moment, so why could he be a good player for Juventus? The first thing is that, of course, Paolo Dybala is leaving, and we heard so many times that Juventus will not replace Dybala with a Dybala lookalike. Why? Probably because there are no Dybala lookalike on the market. It's impossible to find, and also because Juventus decided to change the formation instead of adapting to the team, maybe for the first time of new Allegri era going with a starting lineup that is always the thing speaking about a 4-3-3 in a 4-3-3 today we are missing some players we know that Kulusevski went to Tottenham 
So we have some problems there. Di Maria could be the good fit there in that offensive trio on the right side. Angel Di Maria that comes from, in Europe, Benfica, Real Madrid, uh, Manchester United, where he totally flopped, and then Paris Saint-Germain, he arrived in the same season that uh, Paolo Dybala arrived at Juventus. Of course, with six years difference, we know that because Paolo Dybala is 28 and Di Maria is 34, so there is six years of difference, but he arrived in season 15-16 in their clubs. So we can really compare what they did. Paolo Dybala, is pl he played 287 games, while Angel Di Maria played 290, so they played more or less the same. Paolo Dybala scored 113 goals at the moment, while Di Maria 91. The big difference there is that Di Maria did 117 assets, while Dybala with Juventus did 48. So there is already a big, big, big difference in terms of assists. Paolo Dybala is one that is looking for the goal more than thinking about about doing an assist while Di Maria is able to score because he scored a lot of goals with Paris Saint-Germain but is especially looking for that assist coming with a lot of crosses something that we are totally missing today because we know that the crosses are arriving from Cuadrado or from nobody we are not counting on Alexandro for their crosses even if he's a left back so we need that especially with the new addition Vlaovic Vlaovic that was called the new center of the project by Arriva Bene by Cherubini by Allegri there is a new project there is a new center of the project that is called Dusan Vlaovic and today we are watching it especially in the end of that Serie A that Vlaovic is isolated up front we need a solution to help him to perform even better his average goal on Juventus are quite good but a lot of time he's fighting isolated so we need someone to help him we will have Federico Chiesa that will come back at Juve that will help him playing on the left we need someone on the right if we are looking at Di Maria, that's the big difference. At the time that he played at the Paris Saint-Germain, he played as a right wing for 194 games. Nearly 200 games as a real right winger. Left winger 62 times, so he's, he's also able to play on the opposite side in that 4-3-3, on the left or on the right. While Paolo Dybala, one of his problems were that we never found a real position for him. Uh, second striker, that was the position that he played the most at Juventus with 136 games, center forward 94 games, and then as a right winger only 31. And that's the first question why in that 4-3-3 Di Maria could fit a bit better than Paolo Dybala. Also in terms of injury, we see that Paolo Dybala from never injured is going, going, increasing that curve of injuries. He has been injured a lot in the last two seasons, while uh, Angel Di Maria, that is older, he has no muscular injury. He's a player that is fit and in all these kind of things so fixed position and injuries Di Maria could be the perfect fit in that 4-3-3 of the future now looking at the last uh, stats of Di Maria with Paris Saint-Germain we see that the last time that he played really 30 games in the league in Liga it was in season 18-19 because in the last three seasons con uh, considering this one also including in all this season we can say that he played 26 games 27 and 21 this season. Of course, this season is not playing that much. Why? Because there is uh, Kylian Mbappé, Messi, Neymar, and that makes it really difficult for Angel Di Maria to continue to play with Paris Saint-Germain, and that's also probably why he will leave. In all this season, we know and we see also with the number that he's playing a bit less in Liga, but he's definitely a starter in Champions League. With five games this season, they were eliminated quite fast, but 10 games last season, nine games the two seasons before. So it's a player that is playing the big game because of his importance and experience, Di Maria. Why we are lacking that player in Champions League with Juventus, a player that is used to that competition and that can give back something. Now, it's true that if we are looking at the total minute, considering also that he's playing less games, we see that this season he played only 1,600 minutes. Two seasons ago, nearly 3,000, and three seasons ago, 3,250. So it's a player that is playing, yes, that is important, yes, that can make the difference scoring goals but also doing a lot of assists absolutely yes but it's a player that needs also some rest and if you are looking at Juventus who is Di Maria who can he be backed up with because that's the question Di Maria with all these kind of things that I'm telling you absolutely yes it's starting to make me fall in love for him but not only Di Maria we need a backup Juan Cuadrado 
near nearly the same age because he's 33 he signed for one more year and he can be that backup that jolly on the bench but we already have the new the new Di Maria that is playing with the U team yesterday he missed a penalty it is what it is but he has the same characteristic when I was speaking with a lot of Juve people that are working there, that are watching closely. But yes, the Sule, they didn't tell me he's the new Dybala. They told me he's the new Di Maria. So how can it be and how great could it be to have a mentor that is playing the important game, that is there, that is also showing and introducing Matthias Sule that is playing the same position as a right winger there on top in a 4-3-3, but also being a mentor for him. They already know each other from La Celesao because uh, we know that Matthias Sule has been called up two times so they already met each other they know each other he can be a real mentor for the other young uh, Argentinian player together with a Cuadrado we have three players there with uh, Federico Chiesa that will slowly come back so even Di Maria can start on the left side with Cuadrado on the right side and then we have on top Vlaovic when Chiesa will come back he will play on the left with Di Maria on the right and we have these super jolly that they are uh, that are Sule and Cuadrado that would be for me in my opinion really 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 a beautiful yes and a great yes for Angel Di Maria with maybe a contract of two plus one I can't tell you if it will happen or not but at the moment I'm more and more and more convinced that Di Maria for a short-term contract can be the ideal solution if we want to let Mathias Soule grow and see him also in that first team for the future now I promised you a few rush news Rudiger closer to uh, Real Madrid 11 million a year in terms of salary something out of proportion for Juventus Juventus is really smart because they are looking for that Hoffenheim left back uh, Raum Raum that is a bit uh, lookalike like Gosens he can do really well he will be the starter of the German national team in Qatar winning a lot of experience he can be a really great addition Bernardeschi there will be no proposal for him instead De Chilio will sign for 2025 so three more years and he will go from 3 million euro salary to a one plus 500k in bonus so a total maximum of 2 million euro and then finishing with Bremer Bremer that could have been the solution after Rudiger Bremer is more and more and more closely to Inter so we can say that not Rudiger and not Bremer can be the center back of Juventus who will it be Milenkovic or that young Monaco player Badia Chile we will see it I hope you enjoyed that video let me know your comment about uh, Angel Di Maria is it a yes for you did I convince you that he can be the player for two three years for Juve or is it a no and you say no Beppe I'm sorry we don't want Di Maria we have better options like uh, Zagnolo for example let me know in the comment thank you Forza Juve